For subassembly F, we're going to begin by taking our head plate 102A8 and we're going to remove the plastic from the top and the bottom side. You're going to want to make sure as you're mounting the bearings onto the plate that the beveled side of the plate is facing up. For subassembly G, you'll either have the standard Z motor shown on the right hand side or the Z rod upgrade shown on the left. You'll take the larger of the two motors, or the taller one. And you'll attach the, it to the mounting bracket using the four screws. 103 threes. You'll also want to make sure that the wiring is facing the back. You're going to want to make sure that your wiring is coming out the back side. And then you're actually going to want to find the flat spot on the shaft of the motor and you're going to put one of the set screws against that. You'll notice there's two different holes, hole diameters on the coupler. The smaller one goes over the shaft of the motor and you'll just tighten up the set screw against the flat spot on the shaft. Then you'll place in your Z-Rod and tighten it up with pull screws. Take your Z motor and we'll attach the motor mount plastic. You're going to want to make sure that the plastic mounts flush with the motor and you're going to want your wiring coming out the back. Subassembly H is the limiter switches. You'll want to grab your switches and they come in a pack of three. You'll break them apart very carefully. The holes that we are mounting these with are not threaded so you'll want to push in as you screw the bolts in. Subassembly so I is the build plate support. You want to begin by removing the plastic off of the top and the bottom side. And you'll notice that there is a beveled edge on the build plate support. And you'll want that facing up 